Well, here it is. Welcome to 2022, people, where we'll most likely be locked inside at some point again. But never fear, your Uchiha, who actually has chakra, is here. A bit cringe, but <laughs> welcome back, everyone. Sanju Uchiha here. Happy New Year to one and all. Hope you guys had an awesome holiday. And of course, the first video for the year, well, unlike last year, where it was a board of video, we're reacting to the latest episode of the Demon Slayer Entertainment District Arc, episode 5. I think it should be episode 11 overall for season 2. So, it should be interesting. The fight has started between Tanjiro and Daki. Petition to let Daki eat me, by the way. Just, just putting that out there. <laughs> but anyway, guys, hope you guys are doing awesome. Let's jump into this. I know this is probably going up late too, so... Yeah, let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so... Let me know which one you prefer when I have the footage like full screened or a bit smaller to the corner like this. Tell me which one you actually prefer. Alright, so things are gonna get real flashy. I, I realize that CG I just a bit there for just a bit. Alright. Sound breathing. Like if there's nothing else like <laughs> about this series. Like the music, the OST is just really fit. Yo, if you want to lose the sword again, dog, the sword's finger. <laughs> the funny keys. <laughs> Seriously, no skate, dog. Set your heart on please, Yo, Red Goku! Let's go! Yeah. Ooh. Wait, what? <laughs> this man just you you left after image technique. Recovery breathing? <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Alright. So I'm no expert at spotting CGI, but like it does appear like they're really like craftily smoothly blending in CGI in certain scenes, and it's just it's just it just works. Manga readers know the mark. Mm -hmm. I am loving the, the remix of the, the OST from what is episode 19. You know, it would be I'd feel robbed if the episode had ended right there. <laughs> Yo, I love Inosuke's love dog. This man just is a public menace dog. Yeah, I've dislocated my thumb already. So, and like putting it back in place actually hurts. So, <laughs> if I just can just dislocate all of these joints, nah. That, that's definitely not healthy. <laughs> it's just the foreign and confident that Inosuke would laugh, dog. Man, I have the Ultra Instinct one. Or somewhat of a key sense. Yo! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> the five foos are here. <laughs> I 
<laughs> is that person said like Uzui's wife are like female versions of the main cast. Alright. Thunderclavan Lash. <laughs> General is here. Destroyer of demons. Woo! Clean. Alright, look at flashback. Man, look fresh still now without the, the all of the ghetto. Nah, like, again, this man having these three. <laughs> Yo, Makio is just adorable, dog. Honestly. No, not Makio, Sumo. Alright. Ah, and they're gonna end the episode on that. Oh, of course. Alright, so Demon Slayer the Entertainment District episode 5, or I think episode 11 overall when it comes on to season 2. Um, definitely fun, like, from episode 1 of this section of season 2, like, things have been, like, steadily building. I think this is the most action we've gotten since this the Entertainment District started, and trust me, like, as a manga reader, it's only going to get much more hectic. So if you were one of the persons that were, like, complaining about... You know, yeah, it's nice and all, but we need some more action. If by chance you're one of those persons, trust me, we're, we're getting into it, honestly. As we see Tanjiro versus Daki, we have um, Inosuke and Zenitsu um, reuniting with <laughs> Tengen, reuniting with the Wise. Everybody's kind of coming together. And of course, things are going to be taken back to the surface where it's going to be all out madness and war when it comes down to taking out Offer number six. So, yeah, trust me. But again, I mean, at this point, it's just going to be stuff that you guys already like expect when it comes down to UFOTable doing Demon Slayer, like the OST. Um, and as I said, like there are some, I'm not really an expert at it, but there are some instances where I can tell, yeah, they're using CJ in certain instances, but it's just like the angles or the, the scenes that they decide to actually add the CGI to, it just really meshes and just flows. It doesn't really... It doesn't break the immersion, so yeah. And I know going into 2022, we're you know we're expecting Dragon Ball Super Superhero to be a, like obviously a full fully CGI movie. I think a lot of persons are going to be looking at that to see if anime is going to make a much more broader general transition to doing more CGI, so over the traditional 2D animation, so. But at the same time, I think the way that Ufotable does it when it comes on to so still having a 2D but meshing in the CGI for certain scenes, I think that's just, mm, just perfect for the most part. No, this episode, mm, what can I say? Tanjiro. <sighs> in, <laughs> there's something funny about Demon Slayer in the sense that, you know, we, we're coming to the series and like, it's my impression, it's always been my impression that the, the visual effects with like, the fire, the lightning and the water is just like, it's not actually there, but it's just so, since it's anime and just to help represent and showcase us, the audience, the style of swordsmanship each person is using, making it more visually appealing to us, the audience. But it's like, when... <sighs> When Tanjiro is using like the Hinokami Kagura, um, or sun breathing as they say, <sighs> it kind of breaks my immersion when he's like, so, yo, this is difficult to use and thing because it just seems like, I wouldn't say regular sword swings, but it's kind of hard to get a good idea of like how difficult Hinokami Kagura is. So it kind of breaks my immersion of it. It just kind of seems a bit ridiculous, but hey, it, it's anime. It, it's the rules they've established for the sword. That's swordsmanship style. So it is what it is. I just kind of find it funny still. It was like, <sighs> yeah, so I, mean, I guess if I could make an assumption, maybe it's a case where you have to really, uh, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a swordsman, obviously, so. 
I don't know if there's any any swordsman in real life that could actually relate to like a swordsmanship style that really drains you <laughs> or anything like that. I don't know. But all in all, so far the choreography between Tanjiro for Tanjiro and Donkey's fight is pretty good so far. And as a manga, there's going to be a certain blend of things coming up where Tanjiro is concerned in this fight. I'm looking forward to see how it looks on screen giving you a portable track record with this series so yeah that's that's going to be fun but the choreograph and everything between Daki and Tanjiro mm, definitely good so far and as I said it's only going to get better of course we got a little flashback at the end of the episode there with Tengen and his wives and you know get a better idea of you know where they're coming from as Shinobi and the fact that I mean throughout this episode like it gets like, it's like as the further things go along even though Tengen is flashy and it seems like a pretty easy going well flashy guy <laughs> but at the same time you get to see how much he cares for his wives um in this episode and it's only going to be showcased even more i know some persons is me I, I don't know i've never seen them but i guess me have a problem with him having three wives like no well, i mean especially zenitsu <laughs> but um it's not some what I like about this episode, or at least based on the flashback that we are given. It's not some superficial surface level. Oh, I'm just gonna have a harm for a harm sake, like you know, multiple women. You can tell that he generally cares for each and every one of them by how he interacts with them, and even through the flashback and his his principles that he's instilling that's against their way of life as Shinobi, where he's like, "Yo, you gotta put your lives first because I need you guys to come back to me." And he even puts himself last because as he said their lives then the public then him in terms of prioritizing life so it's just those little statements those little lines of dialogue and just even though it's a short flashback it really shows gives you more into tengen's character um for the most part so i definitely like that um shit. <laughs> Look, I'm just excited for the next few set of episodes because it's going to get even crazier. And again, without even giving spoilers, as a manga reader, some of the flashbacks with Tanjiro, with the, like the body temperature and everything, that's going to be that's going to come back and play a very crucial role in some things that are going to be happening in this arc and even beyond this arc. So you know, stay tuned for that. Of course, Zenitsu. It's still a performance with you know thunderclap and flash inosuke funny as all hell as per usual the man just <laughs> the man just ridiculous to me but enough good fun way so all in all the action and piercing is ramping up and i'm looking forward to seeing how the next few episodes go this is definitely a solid episode between balancing you know screen time between tanjiro or at least tanjiro's group giving them some spotlight and you know exploring more into Tengen's characters and his dynamic between him and his three wives through flashback and just how they generally interact here in the present day after this man just coming in so smooth Hashira the presence as you can see you can tell now Hashira steps into the field you see me and of course the Rengoku callback set your heart in place I'm pretty sure persons who really love the Mugen Train movie like myself really appreciated that small snippet of Tanjiro getting himself pumped and motivated to take on Daki so yeah anyway <laughs> I've rambled on enough again <sighs> Welcome to 2022. Respect for respect and thanks to everybody that supported the channel in 2021 or up to this point. And I'm looking forward to actually just you know, having fun and experiencing this medium we love anime and manga going forward in 2022. Stay safe, guys, and I'll see you in the next Demon Slayer reaction slash review. Mm -hmm.